Hey, hey, Cub fans. Thanks for joining us here in Cubs 24-7, where Randy talks Cubs. Cubs and Mariners just finished up 9-9 tie. A little bit of a scoring fest late in that, and we'll walk you through it, get you up to date on what happened in, in the Cactus League action today. Before we do that, a couple of uh, little loose ends that I wanted to share with you. First one, Shota Imanaga has uh, been scheduled to start the home opener on April 1st. I think that's fantastic. It's going to be a, an awesome day. Uh, Wrigley home opener with Shota going should be just just electric. So we'll look forward to that. Uh, the other thing is uh, Ian Happ. I, I, I just saw a piece on this. We haven't been seeing Ian much. And Craig Council had made the statement that Ian's rehab on his hamstring has plateaued. And by that, uh, it, it hasn't progressed and sort of stopped progressing. So I, I, I don't know. I think you might want to be uh, putting in the back of your mind that Ian Happ may not be ready for opening day. There's still some time, not much, but uh, that's kind of where we are. So I'm kind of questioning that. So today's lineup was interesting, too. So let's go through that. We started Nick Madrigal at third base leading off. Michael Bush, first base hitting second. Uh, Garrett Cooper was in left field today hitting third. David Peralta was DHing, hitting fourth. Miguel Amaya catching, hitting fifth. Miles Masturboni got to start at second base, hitting sixth. Alexander Canario was in center field, hitting seventh. Owen Casey uh, played right field, hitting eighth. And Luis Vasquez played shortstop, hitting ninth. I mentioned that it was a little bit of a scoring fest late. Um, Cubs got nine, but they got sixth in the eighth. So let me walk you through the Cubs scoring. We'll talk about what everybody did. Um, we got our first run in the third inning when Garrett Cooper hit a solo bomb. He took a, I'm going to describe it as a, a off-speed, I don't know if it, couldn't tell if it was a curveball, maybe a change, but it's off-speed pitch down and in, and he just golfed this thing and just, just hit a monster to uh, left field. So Garrett Cooper uh, got us on the board in the third inning with a solo bomb. In the fifth inning, Michael Bush uh, hit a long bomb to center field for a, uh, a home run. And uh, Cooper followed it with a ringing double to left center. And then David Peralta knocked in Coop with, I'm going to describe it as a bloop single to short left field off the end of the bat. So we got two in the fifth with uh, Bush solo shot, Cooper with a, a double, and Peralta with a single. Then we go for eight, uh, or in the eighth inning, we go for six runs. Uh, Joe Hudson singled. Miguel Amaya doubled, scoring Hudson. Jonathan Long then doubles, scoring Amaya. That's two. Scott McKeon singles. Uh, then Owen Casey came up and hit a three-run monster to right center field. I mean, Owen turned on it, hit it on the screws, a three-run home run for Owen Casey. Vasquez comes up, uh, doubles, and then Darius Hill uh, scores him with an RBI double. So uh, Cubs were up for six in the eighth for a total of, of the nine. So let's go through the lineup, talk about what everybody did. Let's talk Nick Madrigal. Uh, Nick went 0 for 3. He came into the game uh with 13 at bats of in the spring, he had gone three for 13. So now he's three for 16, and he I'm not going to say he looked um, bad. The only time that I saw him that it looked like he might have been favoring it, um, he going down the line in one of his ground outs. He, he, you could tell he wasn't busting it out, but you know you can't blame him for that. But um, he goes 0 for three and played a. I uh, played third base fine. He did that that five step um, run up approach, and I it, okay. Let's just talk about it. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, that that five step explosion toward you know getting his momentum, cutting off the distance, all the above, and I, you just don't see that. You don't see third baseman doing that, and it just it looks like a second baseman playing third base when he does that. And I don't know, is it, maybe it's just me, but every time I see it now, I, it just makes me, I, I'm just not happy with it. So it's, it's just a very interesting situation with Nick, the way he does that. So he did it once, uh, but he gloves it fine. And he, you know, I, I don't, it is what it is, but I'm just, I'm, I'm confused. I don't know. 
Let you guys let me know what you think of Nick Madrigal's five-step approach uh, going across the diamond. Michael Bush went two for three, played well, had that uh, solo home run, had a single earlier. Uh, I'm liking Michael Bush more and more, and that's good news. You know, the more I see of him, uh, the more confidence I get. Uh, the home run he hit, uh, he he it was dead center, and he just rocked it. And so you can see the power, and he, he's got a consistent approach. Um, I think he's hit some balls hard over the spring where that uh, didn't fall, so I think maybe his average is a little lower than what would be sort of indicative to what, what he's done. And plays a solid first base, looks looks good. So I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with uh, Michael Bush. He had a good day going two for three. And Cooper today went um, two for three, had that, uh, that double. He hit that double hard. Uh, hit the home run too. Looks very relaxed. You know, he, he, he's made the team. You can almost see it in him today. He was different today. Very relaxed, very confident, very upbeat. So Cooper looked good today. David Peralta went one for two, had that bloop. He had a walk, um, but he looks good at the plate. So remember I told you that he's going to be spending uh, the, the first few weeks when we break spring training there in Arizona to get his arm ready. But I got to tell you, I, I was at, what I was thinking when I was watching Peralta hit is would I prefer Peralta batting over Talkman right now? That was sort of the, the question that popped into my head. So let's assume Peralta can play D. We know he can play D. So he's very similar to what uh, Talkman would bring. And um, I don't know. I think maybe at this point, if I was, you know, kind of picking who I wanted to play, I think maybe I'd go with Peralta right now. Uh, he looks pretty self-assured. Just came off that four for four. So just just things that pop into my head when I'm watching the game. Miguel Amaya went one for four. He had a double in the eighth inning. Uh, popped out a couple times, grounded out to third. Miles Mastroboni, he went one for three. He had a single on a liner to right field, stole a base, uh, struck out twice, one looking, one swinging. Uh, the one that the, the he struck out in the six, he's facing this nasty lefty, big six seven lefty, and uh, he just just kind of overmatched him a little bit. Canario went 0 for three with three strikeouts, and in addition to Canario's three strikeouts, um, I think it was in the second inning, and in, uh, an inning where Kyle Hendricks sort of kind of had a struggle. There was a fly ball hit deep, uh, t mostly center field, but a little bit toward the right side, right center. And Canario goes back on it, and it, he he just didn't he didn't get there. And it was the kind of ball that was hit high enough that you know you think a major league center is going to kind of cruise under that and make the play, and and he really didn't. And and that sort of stood out to me. It's like wow, that uh, that's not something I expected to see. Looks like he should have gotten that that ball, even though the official score gave it a triple. I'm just telling you that I think Canario should have should have caught the ball. So he had that. And he goes 0 for three. So now here uh, at this late stage, I'm starting to question Alexander Canario's readiness. Oh, and Casey went one for four, had that three-run bomb, uh, had a walk, stole a base. Uh, so he looked pretty pretty good. Luis Vasquez went one for five. He had that uh, uh, double with a stolen base uh, in the eighth. So Luis Vasquez. Some of the guys that came in late, we got – a lot of them in the eighth inning that uh, were part of that uh, six-run eighth. Ezekiel Pagan came in, got two at-bats, grounded out to short and struck out. Darius Hill got a couple at-bats, flew out to left field and had an RBI double. Ed Howard went 0 for 2 in his two at-bats, ground out to shortstop, fly out to center. Joe Hudson, big part of the uh, beginning of the eighth, single with a, with a walk, so Joe uh, reached twice. Casey Opitz got a single. In one at bat, Jonathan Long doubled and walked, so he reached twice in both his appearances. Scott McKeon uh, singled in the eighth and struck out in the ninth. So the guys came in and, and did pretty well. We had 14 hits total, uh, four walks, but we struck out 15 times. So I suppose there's some good news and bad news in that. So let's go to the pitchers. Kyle Hendricks started. And he went one and two-thirds innings initially. So he is two outs in the second inning, and he'd given up four hits uh, and a run. His pitch count went up, so they pulled him and brought in Tyler Santana. Tyler came in and got the last out in that second inning, struck out his only uh, uh, batter that he saw. 
Then Kyle comes back in the third. So in in total, Kyle pitches today uh, three and a third innings uh, through 71 pitches total, gave up seven hits, a home run, and uh, struck out three, uh, two earned runs. And I don't even know what to tell you other than just being honest with you. I'm I'm starting to be concerned that that's the kind of the line that we we're going to see from Kyle. Um, and I'll tell you why. It's when I watch him pitch, and I watch the batters, they just don't seem to be uncomfortable at all facing Kyle. When I watch these hitters face Kyle, um, I they look confident. Um, he looks hittable, and I'm just I'm just concerned. So I, I hope I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm just telling you the way it makes me feel. It makes me feel like uh, he doesn't make the hitters uncomfortable. He just looks. It just looks like batting practice. Then all these other pitchers come in and they're they're just sort of nasty, and the, the hitters are struggling and fighting to get the bat on the ball. And Kyle, it just doesn't look that way to me. So we'll see what happens. Porter Hodge came in. He pitched an inning, gave up a hit, walked three, uh, had two strikeouts, and gave up three runs. Chase Watkins came in, lefty. He pitched an inning, gave up a hit. Julian Merriweather pitched an inning, gave up a hit, a walk, and a strikeout. Got out of his inning, uh, giving up nothing. Luke Little had a pretty decent appearance today. Pitched an inning, just gave up one hit. Edwin Escobar, we we may have just seen the last of Edwin Escobar today. It was pretty rough. Edwin uh, pitches a third of an inning, gives up two hits, two walks, a home run, gives up three runs, gets pulled. So I kind of thought that might be the end of the Edwin Escobar experiment. So um, that that's what happened. It was a rough outing for Edwin. Sam McWilliams came in, pitched an inning and two-thirds to finish it out. He gave up two hits, struck out two, and um, so that's kind of the idea. Total, we gave up 14 hits today. We walked six. Um, so it was it, – it wasn't great. There were some, I guess, some some decent high points in it, but we gave up nine runs, and it was a little bit of a struggle for Kyle, a little bit of a struggle for Escobar, and um, Porter Hodge kind of struggled a little bit. Porter Porter lost his command, like he he walked the bases loaded, and just kind of struggled. I thought he was going to get out of it, um, and then ended up not. But it was his, it was his command that got him in trouble. So that's where we are, Cubs. Uh, Nine Marlins, nine. We've got. Uh, I'm I'm done too. By the way, I I was thinking that as the game was winding down. So I'm ready for the season. To me, spring train. I got it. I've seen it. Um, I have very few questions left, spring training wise, and I'm ready for the season. So to me, it's go time. Anything that we learn here in the next couple of days, you know, it'll be like the, the Madrigal situation. Uh, is it going to be Madrigal? Is it going to be uh, Miles Mastroboni? Did Canario play himself out of it here late? Um, I don't know. So we've got some uh, we got some decisions to make, but I think maybe all of the information, the data collection is already in. I think it would be for me. I think I've seen enough that I could make the decisions moving forward. Of course, we've got health questions as an issue too. Uh, but as far as performance and what we've seen, I think – For me, spring training uh, did what it needed to do, educated me, and uh, I'm ready to make some final decisions. So, I don't know, you guys probably feel the same way. Let's play. So, we've got uh, Thursday. We can make it this week. Major League Baseball. Can't wait. Guys, thanks for joining me here at Cubs 24-7 where Randy talks Cubs. We'll see you very soon. Go Cubs, go.